Have you ever wondered how much your DNA data has to do with your curl type, your curl pattern, porosity, density, even hair length? If so, this is the video for you. Today, I'm going to be showing you guys my Ancestry DNA results from three different agencies. Yes, three, because I'm crazy. I tested with the top three agencies in the nation, and today I'm going to be revealing all of my testing with you. We're going to be comparing the results from each agency to see who's most accurate, and we're also going to be seeing how my Ancestry DNA data determines my curly hair and my curl pattern, because yes, it all comes together in this video. So if you're into hair, if you're into DNA data and results in the science of it all, keep watching. My name is Chucky, also known as Curly Boy Chuck. If this is your first time being here, welcome. And if you're returning, man, you rock. So anyone who knows anything about me knows that I am a huge nerd when it comes to ancestry DNA data. I absolutely love these testing sites. I absolutely love diving into the science of it all. I actually did my family tree and I was able to go all the way back to the 1700s. Yeah, crazy. I'm just in love with these type of data sites. I just think they're absolutely amazing and they're just an eye opener into your history and your family's history, which I'm obsessed with. So the companies that I use to get tested are Ancestry DNA, 23andMe, and MyHeritage. These DNA companies are the top in the country and probably in the world, so I think I'm in good hands. Now, because I am a huge nerd slash geek, I decided to put the results on my phone and break them down by region per different agency. Yeah, I'm extra. So for Ancestry DNA, I am 65% European. For 23andMe, I am 57.9% European. And for my heritage, I'm 60.2% European. So pretty much all within the same percentage, 57% to 65%, I think is the close match. Next is Native American. So for Ancestry DNA, I am 16% Native American. On 23andMe, I am 15.4% Native American. And on my heritage, I am 23.7% Native American. Now, Ancestry DNA and 23andMe has me at 16 to 15%. So I think that's probably more accurate than 23%. Yeah. <laughs> but you never know. Now it's time for Sub Saharan African. So for Ancestry DNA, I am 19% African. On 23andMe, I am 17.2% African. And on my heritage, I am 16.1% African. So that's pretty much more closely matched than the other percentages. As you can see, I'm pretty much 16 to 17% Sub-Saharan African. Now I'm gonna break down for you based on the company, the specific regions that I am for each country. Okay, so for Ancestry DNA, I am 23% from Portugal, 21% from Spain, and 11% from France. Now those are my top three of Europeans that I am. So pretty much I'm 44% Spanish and Portuguese. So that's pretty much my majority European blood is Spanish and Portuguese, which is interesting because on 23andMe, I am 45% Spanish and Portuguese. So there's a 1% difference. Now let's check my heritage. On my heritage, I am 33.6%. Iberian and Peninsula, which is pretty much Spain and Portugal. So that's pretty much my ancestry DNA genetics. But now I wanna get into my actual traits and physical features that 23andMe breaks down. And this hands into my hair. So this is so cool. On 23andMe, you click on physical features and it literally tells you what you're most likely and not likely to have based on your genetics. Now I wanna get into the most important part, which you guys have been waiting for if you're into hair, and that is hair texture. So according to this chart, there is a 34% chance of having slightly wavy hair, a 29% chance of having wavy hair, a 16% chance of having big curls, 10% chance of having small curls, 9% chance of having straight hair, and a 2% chance of having very tight curls. Now you're probably thinking, that's like every single hair type <laughs> within the spectrum. How is that possible? Well, I can confirm that I do have many different textures and hair types within this head of hair. Now, primarily I am a 3B person, so I have 3B hair, which means I have, I have curls. I have very distinct, defined curls. But there are sections of my hair that is wavy. 
There's sections of my hair that is straight and then it goes wavy and then it goes curly. There's sections of my hair where I have tighter curls. I literally have so many different hair types. I'm like, it makes no sense. But then again, my family, we have all different hair types in my own immediate family. For instance, my mom is 2B slash 2C. I have one sister who is 3A and I have another sister who is type one. She has dead straight hair, not one wave, not one curl. And then there's me, Mr. Curly. So it's crazy how this chart pretty much defines my entire family, <laughs> my mom and my sisters and myself. And the fact that we all have at least two or three hair types within this chart. So it goes to show that this whole idea that you can only have one hair type is not true. You can have multiple hair types. Hey, editing Chuck here. <laughs> so this actually I saw after I finished recording, but I wanted to add it in the video. So this is my likelihood of having thick or thin hair and according to this chart I am less likely to have thick hair strands which is actually very accurate because although I do have high density hair my individual strands are very thin and I've always noticed that and it's just crazy how this test once again was able to figure this out solely on my genetic testing without ever actually seeing a picture of my hair insane <laughs> One thing that's so cool about this test when it comes to race and when it comes to ethnicity and regions that you are as far as country is it really opens and sheds the light that there really should be no racism. There really should be no discrimination based on skin color or skin tone or region or sociology status. Because at the end of the day, as you see in my results, we are the world. We are so many different things. We are so many different colors, ethnicities, cultures, races, regions, I mean, it's crazy. I think every single person should take a DNA test, especially those that are on the more close-minded racist side, because you may realize that the people you don't like may be inside of you. But that's a whole nother topic for a whole nother day. But that's pretty much it. I wanted to show you my DNA test results. I wanted to compare them with the other DNA testing websites. And I also wanted to break down my hair texture and my hair type since this is a hair channel. I think it's so cool how it accurately describes my hair type and all the different hair textures. I mean, how could they have possibly known? Let me know down below if you've taken any of these DNA tests and what your results were, if you've taken multiple tests and how accurate were they when you compare them. And if any of you guys have not taken the test but you're interested in looking into it, all the information on each testing website will be in the description down below. So take a look. I hope you enjoyed this content. If you did, please do not forget to rate, comment, and subscribe because I want you to grow with me. Until next time, keep it curly and always keep it healthy. Peace.